All right, I did it again. My timer ran out. And I, my little timer was hiding. I mean, usually it shows in the corner here. And then all of a sudden, max time exceeded. Ah. Anyway, I was just in the middle of adding audio, and I was forgetting how to do it. Um, I think I want to give myself some more space. And when I forget how to do things, we can go back to our reference notes. And that's HTML and audio. Right. That's how we do it. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And Spring Concerto, paste that, audio controls. I only have one file though, one MPEG. So I'll just go to this and change that source to um, songs, was it? Songs slash Vivaldi Spring. And this text will show up if it doesn't support this, um, the audio tag or this format or whatever. And we want the controls on there, so it'll show the controls. Okay, so that's that paragraph. Um, now I'm over here. Now I need another paragraph with all these buttons in it. Okay, so another paragraph. Um, button spring. And let's get smart. Copy and paste, paste, paste. And just change spring, summer, autumn. Capital there. And I'm noticing on the picture now, I think this is small caps. Right? You see how the first capital is bigger and then the rest are small capitals? So I have to remember that when we're styling. And winter. Okay, great. And then we have another HR tag. And I might do something like this. Um, if you hit control forward slash again, that gives you an HTML comment. And just as a little heavy, four seasons section. And then we're going to do that HR, just a thematic break, horizontal rule. And now I'll do the ring, ring of mystery section. And that'll start off with an H2, ring of mystery. And then a paragraph. Here's where I wish I would have made that document with all the text so we could copy and paste. But I will try to do that for your assignments. Um, I might as well make this an A tag right now. href equals something. I don't know what it is yet. Um, classical kids. Um, that tells the story of Katerina, who is a young violinist who comes under the tutelage, tutelage, tutelage of Antonio, Antonio. I always want to do that. Antonio. Vivaldi, hello, Vivaldi, period. The ring of mystery contains many excerpts from Vivaldi's most famous works. And Classical Kids also has like Beethoven and Bach and all sorts of things. They're, they're awesome. My kids love them. Okay, after this paragraph, we're going to have an image, source equals images slash... Uh, ring of Mystery, I think, is the one. Beautiful. Alt equals Ring of Mystery. Okay, that's my image. And my image was also supposed to be, supposed to be a link, but we'll get that later. Um, and then a little paragraph at the end. Click Image for Ring of Mystery on YouTube. Period. Then an HR. Control slash for a comment. References. H2 references wonderful a paragraph that just says explore the following resources to learn more about Antonio. No H this time. The vault. Dot dot dot. Yeah, the hiccups. And this is an unordered list, so a UL. And I do an LI Encyclopedia Britannica. Wonderful. LI tab. Encyclopedia, sure, tab.com, and another LI, Wikipedia, and those will all be links as well. And that's it. Okay, that was a ton of stuff. Let's save it. Let's go back to, I don't even know what window I'm at anymore. Oh, uh, right here. Okay, cool. That actually, not bad, not bad. 
All right, Antonio Vivaldi, HR, we got that. This needs some work, that needs some work. We got to center some things. But that was pretty good. We got our base HTML, we got our background. Um, we got to do something with the top here. There's not supposed to be any blue on the top. Um, that I think is because the body by default has some margin. So we just have to tell the body to go margin zero. Yep, okay, that fixed that. Um, this looks too small. If we check our style notes, main titles, dancing script, and 52 pixels. So our H1 right here, we need to change the font size to 52 pixels. That looks better. Um, this is looks like the right font. That's good. That's the right font. That's good. The image is showing up. Now the image looks too wide. See how the HR and the paragraph, they stop? Remember we said the content, um, the content of this big div was 700 pixels? Um, but the image overflows that um, because it by default just is whatever size it's supposed to be, like whatever size it is. If we wanted to resize it, we should tell it to be um, 700 pixels, right? Because that's 700 pixels there. So for this, I'm actually, instead of doing the style sheet for images, this is the one... I often find you give images their own width quite often, so we can do just the width here, 700 pixels. And I think that should, there we go. Now it's, the edge doesn't overflow, it lines up with everything else. Good. Um, Spring Concerto. Okay, we haven't learned about this one yet, but I remember when I was doing this test website that um, I, I didn't like how this wasn't lined up properly. And we didn't learn about this in our notes but we can just select our audio element and go vertical align. Vertical align is usually tricky, but in this case, I think it's pretty easy. It'll align the text beside it so that it'll be in the middle. There we go, right? So Spring Concerto just does that vertical align middle on the audio element. Okay, cool. Um, let us now work on the buttons sure let's look at those buttons so they're all going to need their own background color but there's some things that will be in common right they'll all have the same kind of padding and the same small caps and the same font color so there are definitely some things in common so what i suggest we do is let's just do uh do we have any other buttons on the page no so we can just go button and all the common styles for the buttons we would put into here. And then we'll do a class on each one to specifically change the color. And that way we don't have to repeat stuff as much. So let's start with font um, variant, small caps, cool. Color white, um, let's just see what that does. Oh dear. Um, well, let's just, let's do the background colors now. Let's go here and we'll just go class equals spring BTN for spring button. I'm just going to copy that paste, 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 and then we'll change this to summer button, autumn button, and winter button. Okay, and then down here I can go dot spring button and go background color is assigned something. Here we go on my colors. Spring button is this background color. Great. My style sheet. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this again four times or three times. So this will be summer. Autumn, oops, autumn and winter. And let's get all those background colors. Summer uses this one. All right, right there. And then autumn next. Oops, I gotta switch between the README. Copy and paste. And last but not least is winter, copy and paste. 
There we go, nice. And then, yeah, we'll do some padding on them. And so that's just here. So see, if I wanted to pat, do padding, I have to go padding on each of these classes. But if I just do it here, I only have to do it once. Let's try that 5 pixels, 20 pixels again. That looks decent. We'll go with that. Now we also wanted this, these two paragraphs to be centered. Um, we also have the H1 centered, and we want this to be centered. I'm tempted to do, you know what, let's do something like this. Let's go dot center, text align center. And just have a class that has that text align center. And I want these two paragraphs to be centered. So I will just go to this paragraph here and go class equals center. And we'll copy that and also do it to this paragraph. And hopefully, ta-da, it centered them. Right, apply that text line center to both of those paragraphs. That looks brilliant. Okay, classical kids, there is that link. Sure, let's do that. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'm wondering why the, the story of Katerina and it doesn't go to the other side. Maybe, oh, letter spacing. I had to change. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. Um, let's get the links done first. So where am I here? I'm looking at my code. I'm going down here, classical kids. So my link information is right here. Classical kids is this URL, this address. Oops, in the HTML, we go right here. Bam. So that makes that a link. Um, well, yeah, we'll, I'll do the other ones later. Let's uh, let's style that link now. So a tag, I want color. I believe it was the same color. Oh, I don't have it yet. Um, colors, page, active button border and text link color is this. Okay, copy and paste and text decoration none. There we go. It looks like it might be bold as well, but I didn't put that in the style notes. It probably is. Um, bold is font weight bold. And again, we could do a strong tag, but it makes way more sense to just style it here because then that'll apply to these ones as well. All right. Um, okay, I as I was talking there with this color, I noticed that um, I wanted to have an active one. Spring is the current one selected, so it should have a, a, a this red border. Um, so we'll do that. So I'm going to create a class. Let's go by my buttons here. Dot active um, button, let's say. And that'll have a border of one pixel solid. Yeah, that's the same, the same color. Okay. And then in my HTML, the spring one is the active. So we can actually add multiple classes by just doing a space and going um, active. And now both of the classes will apply to the spring button. And we should now see that it has a, oh dear, that it has a border. Okay, that's sad. Um, what did I do wrong? Class center, hold on, where am I? Spring button, oh, active button was the name of the class, dot active button. Save, and now hopefully there, we can see that border. And it's probably a little thicker. It was probably two pixels, just to make sure people can notice it. OK, and actually, let's check if our audio works. Oh, beautiful. Da, 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 da. OK, I'm going to run out of time here again. I can actually see my timer now. So I'm going to stop here, and hopefully in the next video we can wrap this up. It's getting, It's looking pretty good. A um, couple of things left to do. I think we can do it one more video. All right, hope this is making sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.